good morning everybody uh, welcome to the session this session covers the the uh, dashboard one of the best in class top ranking uh, dashboard that covers your your project progress reporting your program progress reporting your scope of work progress reporting and all the all the necessary and the important critical information that you need to see for your project you will be able to see this this is a dynamic dashboard uh, that can um, uh, do the frequent changes uh, if you have changes or that can that can show you uh, multiple s curve uh, uh, donut charts pie charts uh, histogram and different visuals in just one pager so this is really gonna uh, uh, improve your project uh, uh, visualization and also it uh, looks good uh, on um, on your project reporting and as well as uh, it's really important for the executive and upper upper management um, to uh, to see where what's what are the good looks like for the for your project and what is the area where that needs improvement so let's walk through this dashboard it starts from the from the top so on your top left corner you see uh, your company or uh, company logo so i'll just zoom in uh, uh, to the, the location so here you can come um, to the top left corner put your um, company logo we I've put my company logo here uh, uh, so you can do the change and put your company logo uh, then the name of your project um, and then comes the um, the uh, the length of your uh, project so uh, the length of the project is simple, uh, simple and very easy. Uh, I put this for six month project, but you can always come down and modify this to 12 months to 24 months to the months you need to modify for your project. So uh, to do that, uh, you just come to the top and you see the overall, uh, you see the the here six months. So you just change this to, um, to 12 months here. So let's say I put 12 months here and then I come down and then right click uh and then click on the format access and then just convert this to 6 into 12 and then this will you can see easily be converted into 12 months um and then if you want six months you can put it back to six months now out of six months let's say your your two months have passed so you come to the top and then do that change so put two months and then you can see here that this is how the it shows the two months here on the top uh, that's the length of your project from the start to the end that comes from your uh, from your uh, schedule coming down further further right hand side you can uh, see here the, the the weather conditions the temperature the wind the humidity so if your project is really impacted because of the seasonal and the weather conditions you can always come down uh, and put the weather conditions whether it's a sunny or rainy or cloudy whether the temperature is high or low whether the wind speed is uh, is high or low whether the humidity is high or low you can always put in it's important parameters to show for your project that how is your weather condition look like if the labor really really impacted because of the rainy condition or snowy condition then uh, then that can reflect on the top and people can understand that why the project has delay coming down to the next section which is the uh, which is the uh, schedule in uh, important date so your start date that comes from the start of your project when your project started plan finish date that also comes the last date of your from your schedule for your project so you put your start date you put your end date and it automatically calculates the total duration you put your uh, focal po points for your customer client or for your company so i put their random num random names here chris uh, for focal point project manager dave side focal point jen um, uh, for services mike uh, uh, startup and commission and commissioning Alan engineering focal point Robert lockout Jake uh, schedule um, uh, made and then project reporting um, Eddie uh, brief scope of work what your project covers whether civil mechanical electrical structure equipment uh, commissioning startup outage shutdown uh, uh, slowdowns uh, uh, curtailment anything of any nature uh, just put down the brief scope of work so that the upper management or the executive who are uh, seeing this project can read through it and on the right hand side is your main activities let's say inspection is by x company and abc company and repairs by so put down the name and really give that who are the major contributor contractors vendor third party are working on your site so 
so that's simple and easy on the left hand side the project uh, uh, parameters uh, on the start and dates you have key people on the right hand side is the key contractors working on your side and the middle you have the scope of work uh, now we really come down to this section which is the s curve and that really is a game changer so what it does is that it's s curve that come from the data of your project from your schedule uh, it's a dynamic s curve so this is for end to end like from for six months i build but you can build this for 12 months uh, 24 months and three years five years anything it's super easy super simple so you you can see here you start date uh, in january you in finish date in the uh, in, in in june 2025 uh, and th this is the s curve coming up it's for different major major scope of work within the project so i have this first portion in january second portion in fab march april and then and ending is towards the mid of june so uh, if you wanna do the, uh, if you wanna see one uh, WBS, so you just go on the top and click. Let's say I, if I want to see the power block, power block one, so I click on power block one, power block one for actual, and power block one for forecasting, and you see how this change just to reflect only power block one, and you can see this overall has changed to power block one, and it's exactly the identical for the power block one on the right hand side, just because this power block one is the critical path so I, I i did a separate s curve for the um for the um uh power block one what you can do is to just crop this one and put that here if you want to show power block two you just do the same thing click on power block two power block two actual power block block two uh forecast and then crop this one and put a third chart next third chart next to it this will show all your critical uh path in the form of s curve if you want to see overall remove the filters and you will see the overall uh overall uh, curve here and then you can put some narrative to your overall project for example the power block one is 100 percent done uh, prv installation is 100 uh, percent done the other things are happening you put the end date so you can see what's the uh, major activities happening on the overall project and then on the right hand side for the critical path uh, s curve you can just put some details to the, uh, the critical path that critical path job is almost done and the repairs are completed you come down to the middle of the uh, middle of the report it is the safety uh, indicator dial indicator if you have zero incident you can just come to the right hand side i have these things here uh, that you just convert this into nine and you see the dial indicator goes down to uh, to the bottom and then all i do is to bring this to the bottom here and then just click zero incident which reflects good on your project that you are safe and sound and there is no incident on your project if you have again one incident so you make the needle go up to the orange zone so i'll just move the needle go up to the orange zone by putting this number and it goes up to the orange orange zone and then i'll just put one incident and then you just put some narrative to the right hand side box that once incident happened on site and then investigation is underway report is being developed uh, people are working and then to, people are working to ensure the incident um, uh, don't happen again uh, and then the the, the safe manners uh, uh, you can show the from your schedule uh, from from the man hours shown in the schedule you can put the uh, the man hours here in the uh, in this box to show how many say how many uh, safe uh, man hours achieved so far on your project so that was about the safety uh, indicator that's the sec that's the mid portion then you really come down to this important portion that shows all the key uh, milestones for your project for example this project has uh, and inspections are repairs on 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 one section one area then a, and then repairs on a second section and second area then you have some installations some other stuff some electrical work and some testing and commissioning startup and then overall so those come from the wbs of your schedule you can just easily come uh, to the top i have listed down here um, so if your overall progress is let's say 75 percent you just put 75 if your inspection is let's say 25 uh, repair is 25 the other one is uh, 70 
uh, this one is let's say 45 this one is 0 this one is let's say 25 and you change this percentage and you come down see all these numbers have changed itself or all, all you need to do is to just adjust and put that um, that percentage in the center and that's how it looks like super awesome so uh, you can easily move that portion and then see how th and then you can put the narrative here on the right hand side uh, to show the overall progress overall progress is 75 and then look ahead for your project is that what's happening next week where what's happening uh, next month what's happening six months after you can list down those upcoming events or the activities team of course the team performance is really important so if you have contractor external parties subcontractors vendor your internal teams are performing good they are good they have good collaboration communication you can always put that thing in there uh, and put some nice words there um, then you really come to the bottom of the uh, this uh, dashboard report and that com comes down to the very important section of your labor your manpower your people on site so if you have multiple contractors mechanical civil scaffolders uh, electrical other contractors so those are uh, are, are shown in a in a histogram on a, on a bar chart uh, in the form of uh, mechanical civil electrical contractors uh, throughout the month throughout the weeks and uh, if there's night shift you can also mention night shift i don't have the night shift so i just put that there's no night shift and that's how uh, this overall dashboard looks like it's dynamic it's moving it's uh, it really uh, shows a good visual it, sh it really boosts up the uh, your project uh, uh, visualization so I really really recommend this dashboard for your project uh, it's a one pager it's good for the executive good for the upper management good for your peer members good for everybody just uh, uh, to show that how it, what's the health of your project whether you, your project is going as per plan behind or ahead so those visuals and curves and graph uh, uh, would exactly show it has every it has uh, everything for everybody it has curve for the project monitor project control for upper management it has the information for safety guys and dial indicator has the it has the milestones for the people it has the manpower so it covers daily covers everything uh, if you need uh, more details you can contact us at, at uh, best we give uh, at gmail.com or the number uh, plus one dash three four seven six one zero two five two five uh, three four seven six one zero two five two five uh, if you want to customize your dashboard if you want to modify your dashboard if you want a new dashboard even a same dashboard do let us know on this number on this uh, email address do let us know and we can come down to help you to uh, to work on your da dashboard to prepare a dashboard and then put out for you uh, so that we can we can work together so best we give is the name number is there email is there do contact us and we'll go from there thank you and see you in the next video keep like and subscribe our channel uh, for the more uh, good videos thank you bye